Well, hello, I'm Joe Scarupa, Editorial Director of RAS News, and I'm here in the Drake Hotel at the start of the Retail and Consumer Goods Analytics Summit. And I'm really excited to be here with uh, Dr. Andreas Weigand, who is the former chief scientist at Amazon.com and the founder and director of Social Data Lab. Welcome, uh, Dr. Andreas Weigand, and I'm uh, really glad that you're going to be our opening keynote speaker, and I'm really looking forward to your presentation. I wonder if you can give us a little bit of a preview of what you're going to say tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me. So the main point is that we live in a world where data need to be transformed into decisions. So at a speech of the United Nations, I talked about data is the new oil. And just like oil, data needs to be refined. Data needs to be turned into a product, into a product that actually makes a difference to people. And then they're willing to pay for it. So let's talk about those data refineries. Let's take, for example, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a wonderful example where people provide the raw materials, the data they enter in LinkedIn, but then the raw data by itself wouldn't be all that useful. It's been made useful by LinkedIn now refining the data and presenting it to you in a way which is useful for you. Or think Google. Google is a data refinery, helping actually organize the world's information based on what you're interested in, based on the query you make, so you can make a better decision. Or take Facebook, or last but not least, take Amazon. So that notion of data being refined because the raw data isn't useful is what I meant by data is the new oil. You know, that's going to be our kickoff presentation. And uh, I was going to try to get your take on why we have so many retail and consumer goods executives, high-level executives, interested in coming here today and very much interested in the future of analytics. What's the compelling reason for executives uh, being interested in that topic. Yeah. Last week, I was in London at a firm called Order Dynamics, and we looked at conversion rates at a company which has both online and offline sales. And they had varied the price, and so I expected, as a function of price, of course, the conversion rate to drop the more expensive the item was. Now, what was interesting that at some bins, for some price, there were two very different conversion rates in different weeks. So that is where the huge difference is between online and offline. So offline, you can't vary prices that often. Online, potentially, you make millions of decisions a day. And the reason I think that the executives of retail and of product companies are here tomorrow is that they want to know what decisions do they make and how do they make them? And possibly, how can they use those emergent tools like Order Dynamics to help them make these decisions? Basically, taking that Amazon idea that there are inputs that you control and outputs that you observe and make it usable for people in the audience tomorrow. Well, Dr. Weigand, you're a futurist, and I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Um, give me a, an idea of what you foresee in the future for analytics in an industry like retail or in an industry like consumer goods technology. So I think I was just in Germany working with BMW earlier this week and just got to Chicago today. And it is interesting how a company which has an amazing product is realizing that it needs to focus from the product to the person, to the people. Because ultimately, products don't buy products, people buy products. So I think writing the equation of business in customer-centric terms, not how long a car sits in the lot or a deodorant sits on the shelf, but what actually is in for the consumer, for the end user. I think that is the shift I see. To write equation of business from the perspective of the customer, in customer-centric terms. Well, thank you for your time, Dr. Weigand. We're really looking forward to your presentation tomorrow. I'm looking forward to being here. Thank you.